Welcome to A Vegan Journey for Love, interview with the Reverend Father Donatello Ioko. Vegan, part two of two. Each of us has our own spiritual awakening experience, and for the Reverend Father Donatello Ioko, pastor of St. Ambrose Catholic Church, it was in 2016 when he watched the documentary film Vegucated. I just couldn't believe what I was watching, I'll be honest with you. It's not that I was totally, you know, blind to it, but I didn't know the, the degree of the cruelty and the fear of the animals. And what really tugged my heartstrings was uh, when uh, a mother cow, uh, the calf was taken away from the mother cow and she was crying after it, and she was doing all she could to chase the, the calf. <laughs> That broke my heart, and uh, I really, it was almost like a, a conversion, it was almost a repentance of, of myself contributing, saying I did not know. Like, I, I, I sincerely, you know, it was just between me and God. Deep down, it was not something new, because Father Donatello had been spreading God's teachings for years. But that life-changing experience was so intense that it elevated his awareness to encompass all living beings. Father Donatello Yoko started a vegan journey immediately. First, he strengthened his knowledge with extensive research. Then he supplemented experiences with various animal people activities. After facing various stumbling blocks, untapped spiritual resources were cultivated for wisdom and strength. Finally, the father successfully established his own unique approach to serve God and promote veganism. In today's episode, we will continue the inspiring story of Father Donatello Yoko and learn more about his method to bring together vegans and those who are considering embracing the plant-based diet. I, I thought it was a good way to um, just to bring people who have questions. I, I kind of opened it up for vegans and those who are thinking about it. Or um, So I had a couple classes and I have a, a structure to it more so than kind of bringing a talk or a documentary that we can listen to or talk about. It was during Lent in, in, the, in the, the Catholic faith. We have a time of 40 days before we celebrate uh, Easter, the resurrection of, of Christ. And usually in those 40 days, uh, somebody gives up something. So uh, it's either trying to be more loving, uh, more kind to others, be more charitable. Some people give up um, a food or coffee or something very minimal sometimes of just trying to be um, restrictive in ourselves because it's always been something part of Christianity where we try not to think about ourselves, to give up something, so self-sacrifice something that we like and do it for our own spiritual progress and to help others. So I said, um, let's do a challenge of 40, be vegan or plant-based for 40 days. And so a lot of people took that challenge and then within that, for eight uh, consecutive Sundays, um, we would meet at three o'clock in the parish hall and I would begin with some scripture and just kind of leading it and kind of emphasizing, you know, God doesn't want animal sacrifices. It's not something he commanded, you know, so I would bring them those things. You know, some people have some questions um, and I would try to answer the best I can. Then we will watch a documentary and I kind of made it so it kind of progressed to uh, prepare you for, you know, some animal slaughter footage that I had. And and that what brought about that group of honoring uh, God's creation, where I can at least, you know, bring that up again and we can talk about it. Um, do things outings and go to like uh, an animal sanctuary, doing some activism. From his own wisdom, the Reverend will share with us the positive dynamic between the vegan diet and spiritual development. You know, speaking from reading uh, from enlightened masters and um, 
from the past and present. I think I, I, I think it. I always call it. Uh, you know, we have that veil. We want to remove that veil. So really, those who are doing a regular meditation understand what that veil is. I think it just it becomes a blocker. I don't. Th- it might not. You know bar you from progressing in a sense, but I always call it a stepping stone. If eating a plant-based diet can help you do that next step into opening up your prayer life, I think it's just a stepping stone that you can, you know, experience God more and you can see more, whether it's that interior seeing of the light or it won't, you know, again, it's not dislocated from your everyday living where you can see yourself in others. And so you're living that golden rule, you know, treat others as you would want to be treated yourself. Love one another as you would love yourself. Father Donatello also praised Supreme Master Chin Hai's urgent message to spiritual leaders and meat eaters. Those are powerful words, they're true words. And, you know, as she's speaking, I know she's saying it to the leaders and saying, you know, you tell your congregation or your the faithful, uh, the followers. And again, but it's also directed to them. It's saying, are you being that example? We cannot say that we are the children of God if we murder other children of God. Most people won't think this, but is it contrary to what you're saying about loving and caring uh, about the outcasts, about the poor, but then leaving out all, you know, the rest of God's creation that are suffering. And, and, and not only that, this devastation upon the earth that's happening before our eyes, the extinction of animals as well that we're never going to see again. If you see an extinction of, an, of, a, of a species, it's not going to be long till we're part of that too. That's a very powerful statement. Actually, it's a, made me emotional reading it. I think that who heard that and took it to apply, obviously, to, to themselves, if that did not move them to to really reflect on how they contribute to that. And every time you take a bite and it destroys a part of the planet, I mean, that's a big responsibility. We are, we are responsible. There was somebody, it was a different context. Someone says, you know, everybody knows our rights, but no one knows their responsibilities. And I think we live in that kind of upside down world where everybody's, it's my right to eat meat, it's my right, but where's your responsibility? And that could be applied to anything really. And it's so true, we forget about responsibility to one another, to the rest of the planet, all together with all living creatures that live on this planet. We're all responsible for each other. At the close of the interview, Father Donatello Ioko read these beautiful verses to remind us to always remember God and to honor all God's creations. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters in all its deep. Fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command. Wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and all flying birds. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord, praise the Lord. For the fate of humans and the fate of animals is the same. As one dies, so dies the other. They all have the same breath, and humans have no advantage over the animals, for all is vanity. Hi, I'm Father Donatello Yoko. You're watching Supreme Master Television. Be veg. Go green to save the planet. We sincerely thank Father Donatello Ioko for sharing his wisdom about the importance of the compassionate vegan lifestyle and how he lives as a shining example, a vegan pastor to help more people switch to the plant-based diet. May people of every religion join together to create a vegan paradise on earth. I believe it's the small choices people make that have the biggest power to change and nothing is more simple yet also more far-reaching than changing how and what you choose to eat. Steph Davis, Vegan Amazing viewers, 
We hope you enjoyed today's show for vegan and religion. Coming up next is inspired doctor and clairvoyant Michel de Nostredam, part one of two, right after noteworthy news. In heaven's grace, may your days be filled with wonderment and happiness. <laughs>